All right, taking a look here at uh, Zach Howell. Um, this uh, this picture here in the uh, upper left is kind of where we uh, we we started from. Um, these two were uh, uh, good swings uh, fairly recently, and this is Adrian Gonzalez flipped around here to the right-handed side, down here in the bottom left. You know, one thing you notice in the stance right off the bat is how kind of tied up and bunched up he was before. We really kind of moved his hands back a little bit, kind of you know raised the back elbow up. We like to say about halfway with the back elbow there, and uh, you know got away from that that bunched up kind of feeling there. Um, and also he had a you know too much flexion in the knees, and and Zach will struggle with that. He will get too much bend in the knees and not enough bend at the waist at at times. Um, so we want to we want to make sure that we you know we, we bend a little bit at the knees, but also bend at the waist. You know you want to feel like your shoulders drop over your knees. You don't want to have your knees this far bent way out here to where your knees are way out in front of your body. You know you want to bend your waist enough so that the butt's out and the shoulders drop over the knees. Okay, when I when I analyze the swing, I'm looking at three main areas: the back leg, the back arm, and then that front side. Let's take a look at the back leg. And uh, if you look at Adrian down there in the bottom, the back leg it really has one simple purpose, you know, and that is to drive energy laterally uh, at your target. Okay, so you want to drive energy sideways laterally at your target. Okay, first thing that happens with that is the back leg must load. Okay, that happens when the foot comes up, and then the back leg will press and unload laterally, which will eventually unweight the leg. Um, just as just as the front heel lands, okay. So there's a real driving component there, okay. If we look at Zach's old swing here, you can see how his intention uh, with his stride was really to kind of try to take a false step, and when his foot's down, you know his weight is still all back here. You can see how Adrian is pressing here, you know, as the heel is landing, that leg is driving, and you can see here. Uh, how he's he's using these muscles at the top of his leg to push sideways whereas here the knee still back on top of the foot and you can see that leg isn't real active you know as you as you kind of play it through and see it transition through you can see how these three swings the leg is driving uh, into the front side it's unloading into foot plant okay and I mean the, the foot is virtually weightless at this point right here already okay and then again you can see the foot weightless before and through contact with the baseball okay whereas on the other one you can see he's kind of in bug squish mode there and the foot is just turning you know spinning on the top so you know what does that mean well you know how do you want your leg to contribute to the swing do you want your back leg to be a force producer an energy driver um, do you want it to be involved in in producing force or do you want it to just spin and slip on the ground there and again if you think of throwing you're always going to use your leg to drive energy in the direction of your throw and if you think in terms of that we're throwing this this barrel back at the ball uh, that's what we want the leg to do we want that leg to contribute in a driving uh, fashion and this this really is a critical aspect of the swing because if if the back leg doesn't uh, get involved properly then the upper body is going to compensate okay it's going to start upper body will start working too much and too soon so again we want that back leg uh, to load and unload before the heel lands and really if you think about it in terms of the stride you know the step you take should involve a negative and a positive okay so so the lifting of the foot brings the weight back but the back leg is transitioning before the foot lands so the you know the one way that I like to coach it is, you know, you simply just get the back leg ready, that pulls the foot up, and then as you unload the back leg, it puts it down, okay? Now, if you look at Adrian down there, he's got a pretty high leg kick. Uh, I would say, you know, a little higher than most guys you see. Um, Zach also has a bit of a leg kick there. And, and one thing Zach tends to do is he tends to let this leg kind of kind of kick up and get almost uh, parallel to the ground there. Um, so a little bit, you know, for me, I'd like to see him calm down the front foot just a little bit um, and, and really kind of really use the back leg and not use the front leg quite as much. You know, the, the front foot wasn't as, as high up here, but he really wasn't using his legs at all over there, okay? So 
Um, we really try to coach coach the players on, you know, your strides about your back leg. Just get the back leg ready and then unload the back leg. And really you want that front leg. You see Adrian here, that front leg lands uh, square with the knee bent behind the foot. And that's basically the way, you know, if you back it, uh, if you back Zach up, that's the way he starts. So you really want this front foot to land like this, you know, with the foot square and the knee behind the foot. So he doesn't have to do a whole lot with it. Just let the back leg, and he, again, Adrian starts a little more open, but again, still the knee slightly bent and behind the foot, he tends to close down a little bit. But the point is that front leg doesn't need to change. And really you also should land square with your body. So you don't need to feel like you're flying open. So again, I'd, I'd like to see him calm that down a little bit. And the other thing we've kind of worked on with the back leg, he, he tends to have a little bit too far to go. You can see Adrian kind of starts a little more weight back in his stance, whereas Zach's kind of 50-50 and has to make kind of a, a big move. You see kind of that bend in the knee. And, and you can see Adrian's knee, back knee is a lot more quiet, okay, going back, okay. I like to see Zach start back a little more so he doesn't have to do quite as much flexion there, okay. But again, the overall function is very similar. If you compare his leg here to what Adrian's doing at this point, you can see how similar the biomechanics are. You know, they're these both they're both using the muscles at the top of the leg there to, you know, press energy sideways to push that leg sideways. And you can see how different the functioning of this leg is to, to the other two. It's all worried about, you know, just in that in that swing. He's just primarily concerned with just spinning the leg. You know, a lot of coaches think that that, you know, spinning the foot or spinning the leg is, is what creates rotation, and it's, and it's not. It's certainly not what creates uh, energy either, okay? So, again, very similar here in these positions uh, and very good move with the ball.